Welcome to the City of Troy Board of Park Commissioners meeting for Tuesday, September 10th. Happy, please call the roll. Mr. Emmerich? Here. Mr. Harrelson? Here. Mrs. Anderson? Here. All members are present. All righty. Uh, first thing on the agenda here is to approve the August 19th minutes. Uh, is there any additions, subtractions, or deletions to those minutes? Hearing none, I'll take a motion for approval. A motion. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion approved. Uh, moving on to our reports. Mr. Drake. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I, don't, I don't have anything really to add to my report. I would just say that um, the report is pretty indicative of what we run into this time of year with um, soccer, football, uh, some softball leagues still trying to get wrapped up for the season. And um, thankfully, the grass has slowed down enough to allow us to catch up on some projects, uh, some building maintenance items, and some tree work. So that's actually been a good thing, even though not the prettiest out there right now but yeah. um yeah i think that just uh, pretty well encompasses everything we've um, been tackling here lately awesome anything for mr drake thanks mr seiler good morning good or good afternoon yeah uh just a couple items there on the report uh one the uh, 2024 float troy program ended this past weekend so that's in the books uh, I think uh, all in all, season went pretty well. Um, we are in the process of putting down our ice right now. Our program will start tomorrow evening. And uh, attached is a 2024 uh, pool report with attendance. Had a really good year. We're in the process of kind of putting together our year-end report. So we'll present that next month uh, to the Recreation Board once that's completed. Awesome. Excellent. And I saw that it's 217 tents were reserved this year for Float Troy. We talked about that last time, but that's on par, if not the same. It's yeah. right about the same. Right about yeah. the same. Yep. Awesome. Any questions for Mr. Seiler? Thank you, Mr. Seiler. Mr. Boer. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, a couple of things, well, mostly golf course uh, uh, conditions related. We uh, uh, finished our airification of uh, greens and tees yesterday. Uh, just want to commend our uh, our entire maintenance staff on on the uh, the job well done, the process uh, that we've kind of refined over the last five or six years. Um, it's it's extremely efficient and uh, it's uh, just a very a very well done process there. I uh, also want to commend them. Just you know we've been experiencing a drought now for going sure. on a month uh, with some some very uh, uh, high heat during that time as well and, and the course is, is held out and again a lot of attention to detail uh, just to make sure that we don't lose any turf as it relates to greens and things like that so um, guys have done a, a very good job uh, to get us uh, where we are right now so Excellent. just want to say thanks to them yeah noted any questions for mr. Boer Alrighty. Alrighty. and I have nothing from the Planning Commission um, next, we'll move on to new business, and that is uh, the authorization of bidding for a farm lease agreement at uh, part of Paul Duke Park. Um, Mr. Titterington, is that you? Mrs. Knight. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there's about 40 acres to the back of Duke Park that is not otherwise used, and we've uh, had this under a farm lease agreement for the last maybe seven or eight years. The current agreement, which was for three years plus two renewals, will expire at the end of this year. We would like to again bid this. Uh, Mr. Drake has been involved in our discussions and we have at this point no other use for this land. The best I think purpose is to continue farming. We have to put it out for public bids which would go to council to authorize but we're asking for a recommendation from this board to Council that it again be bid as a farm lease agreement following a, a very precise document. Okay. So you've previously been doing this for, you said, the past seven years. This is the property ahead of the uh, walking trail right mm -hmm. on Troy Sydney Road. There's a picture of it included in the uh, packet. So, any questions uh, from the board? No. Yes. Um, Mr. Knight, are the one year extensions? not subject to bid, as in those can happen without? 
dealing mutually with agreeable, mutually by, agreeable the by the farmer and by the director of public service and safety. This is a contract that's eventually entered into by the director based on the uh, deeding, the land being deeded to the name of the city. Okay. Is there any, not that I have a problem with it, but I'm just asking it mm -hmm. nevertheless, is there any reason that this isn't just on one year renewable extensions for up to like a, a five year there, total renewal? It's a limit set by the limit set by the limit set by the revised code. Okay. Okay. Is the board to take action? To take a um, I can make a recommendation to council authorizing the director of public service and safety to advise for bids and enter into a farm lease agreement for a portion of Paul uh, G. Duke Park uh, as discussed. Is there a second? A second. All right, hearing a second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, that is approved as a recommendation to, or to city council, right? It's just a recommendation. Yes. Thank you very much. Yep. Anything else to come before the park board today? Hearing none, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned. Thanks. <laughs>